Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aisha and today we're going to discuss about repentance, also known as istighfar. Toba, also known as repentance, is the key guidance of the straight path. It's a means of purification for those who wish to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Repentance is asking Allah for forgiveness for any sins or wrongdoings such as lying or backbiting. In the Quran, Tawbah means returning from evil activities and firmly avoiding them in the future, hence being the first step of discipline. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, All you have faith, repent to Allah with sincere repentance. Now let's look closer on importance of repenting. The Prophet wasallam told us that the more that we are tr- um, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more our sins dust off. Meaning there's a higher chance for us to get into paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, As for those who repent, believe, and do good deeds, they are the ones whose evil deeds Allah will change into good deeds. For Allah is all forgiving and all merciful. Now let's look at the steps for repentance. The first step is to give up this sin immediately. Now let's take an example that for let's say I consume alcohol on a daily basis. My first step will be to give up drinking alcohol. Then I need to regret and I need to remorse on my actions. So I will plead to Allah, make istighfar, make dua to Allah to forgive my sins. I will be regretful for what I have done in the past. And I will not start drinking alcohol again. The fourth point does not always vary. It depends on various situations. Now the last point, but not the least important, and that he repents before the agony of death is upon him. After you die, you can't change your sins and you can't change anything. So it's better to repent before because you never know whether or not you'll live tomorrow or the day after. Now let's look at Prophet Yunus and his example of sincere repentance. In darkness and despair within the belly of the fish, Prophet Yunus turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said to your repentance. The Quran, Surah Al Anbiya, verse 87, captures his heartful plea. There is no deity worthy of worship except you. You are pure from all imperfections. This is when Yunus was in grave danger and then he repented back to Allah, begging for mercy and forgiveness. Now let's look at personal impact on Prophet Yunus. For Prophet Yunus, witnessing the repentance of his people and their return to the right path would have been immensely fulfilling. His mission was complete and demonstrated the power of sincere repentance and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His own experience in the belly of the whale, his prayer and subsequent salvation would, would have deepened his faith and commitment to his prophetic duties. The immediate impact of the people's repentance was the averting of divine punishment which spared them from destruction and led to a moral and spiritual renewal. Many of the people strengthened their iman and there were better community bonds and many more people were turning back to Islam. Now let's look at one of the most major aspects, transformation through repentance. The people's repentance in Nineveh had a big impact right away and over time. They were saved by the punishment of Allah and it made them more moral and spiritual. Their community became stronger and more united, hence leading the future generation to good things. It also brought stability and prosperity in their society. This story shows how powerful sincere repentance is and how merciful Allah can be. All you need to do is repent, do istighfar. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. Assalamu alaikum.